expecting call? No. No. Hoping it was him. I know better. Why are you here? Uh, I want to make sure you weren't at school. Until I know the Cole's not going back to school, neither are you. It's over, Dad. Cole's never coming back to Landview High. And his mom's not just putting him in boarding school, she's putting him in military school. Happy now? Every cadet has the opportunity to participate and compete if he or she is determined to do so. Cole, you can play football again, okay? After the initial period of probation. I don't care, okay? Because I don't want this. Yeah, well, I wish I had a choice. I won't lie anymore, okay? Are you going to see Star Manning? Well, at least you didn't lie. You don't get it, do you? No, no, I get it, Cole, okay? And I also get the fact that Todd Manning was like, nothing I better. I can handle Star no, Chat, okay? No, you can't! And neither can I, okay? So that is why I am sending you away, because I am not going to lose you like we lost your father. I suppose I should be flattered. Why? Well, the way you're looking at those pictures. It's my job. To stare at men in their underwear. Yeah. Well, that's a tough way to make a living. All right, Tate, we're going to have to set some rules. Or I can't work with you anymore. Um, she was up really early this morning, so she'll probably nap for a while. I just said Antonio was bringing her by. Antonio got caught up with the case, and he couldn't break away. I think your mommy's not telling the truth about that. How are you? I am telling the truth. He's a cop. He has emergencies. Of course he does. I'll see you later, sweetie. Thank you for bringing her by. It's good to see you. Man, you want to see me? Uh, yeah, come on in. Close the door. What's up? Open it up. Whoa. That is mucho cash. Take it. Where are they? You may have to take this meeting alone. What's the rush? Doctor's appointment. Everything okay? Finally. I think we may have a lead on the arsonist who burned down your house. Switch of your house, and I think she may have found something. It's a medallion of some kind. We're hoping it doesn't belong to you or your family. Well, show it to me. I took video at the scene. That's a, a still frame from the footage. What? What, the, what is this? I can't. It's, it's blurry. It's. I mean, can we can we blow it up or enhance it? We have to work on it right now. You, you can wait if you want. Yes, I want. Nora, please, let me know the minute you find anything. Else. Yeah, yeah, I will call you. Okay. How's Christian? Okay, I guess. Do me a big favor by watching the club. I can only imagine what he said about me. And I guess I probably don't want to know. So I'm sorry for bringing it up. I, I have somewhere to be. Excuse me. This medallion is going to lead us to the arsonist. I know it. I feel it. For me? All this cash? No. Nothing. 
That's Roxy's money. That's the money that was taken in the robbery at her salon. Oh, balsam. The perps, they, they didn't get a chance to spend a nickel of it. Well, that's really cool. Bo, she'll be very happy. Well, I'm sure glad to hear that. But you know what? You thought that I just handed you a bag of cold, hard cash for no reason, right? You were going to keep that. Oh, no, I was kidding. Yeah. I'd only have taken it if you insisted. Oh, really? That's reassuring. God, balsam. So, how's everything going with you otherwise? Uh, good. I got stuck up on Lantano Mountain the other night. The ice storm. Huh? You ski? A little. Hmm. This was a work thing. Adriana was shooting a spread for her clothing line. Yeah, the underwear deal, right? Yeah. Don't lose respect for me, okay? Um, but when one of the models got stuck at the bottom of the mountain, I... Um, no. They were desperate. She's my girlfriend. Threat of death. What can I do? Balsam, this could be a whole new career for you. Okay. Don't start, huh? When do we get to see these pictures? Sometime soon, I'm guessing. Unless I end up on the cutting room floor, which would be a huge relief. Nah, come on, come on. Don't you think that'd be exciting, though? You get to see yourself in a, in a magazine with... <laughs> yeah, wearing nothing but underwear. <laughs> Spur of the moment. No spray tan, no six weeks with a trainer. Right. That should be very exciting in a humiliating sort of way. Now, had the right model gotten hung up, it might have been worth it. <laughs> what do you mean? The star of the ads, Tate Harmon. Too bad he didn't get stuck at the bottom of that mountain. You have a problem with the guy? Me? Nah. No, I'm way too secure to be threatened by a hunky sports star flirting his ass off with my girlfriend. Doesn't phase me in the least. Look, if I offended you in some way, I'm you sorry. You haven't I... offended me. It's just... There have been some things that have gone down that... You mean when you saw me naked? That was a complete accident. You know that. I do. It's just that Rex was already a little bothered by your interest in me. And when he heard about that, slightly bothered turned into highly suspicious. Why? Doesn't he trust you? Of course he trusts me. We're great together, completely committed to each other. This is not a big deal. It just... I don't like him to stress out about these sort of things. Okay, I get it. You and Rex are a team. I would never make a move on another guy's girlfriend. I'm serious. I would never come between two people in love. What happened to Dad has nothing to do with what's going on right now. It's about me and Star and your need to control me. Cole, you're my son. My only need is to protect you and to help you make good decisions. Decisions that make me feel miserable? And why do I need your help with anything? What am I, in preschool? Well, when you behave like this, yes. Damn it, Mom. I can take care of myself. Can you? Can you really? Is that why you insist at every turn to be betray my trust? Fine, then. If I've disappointed you so badly, if I'm such a disgrace, then send me off to military school and be done with it. <laughs> and then you'll never have to deal with me again. And won't, won't that be such a relief? Cole, that is not what this is about, and you know it, so just stop it. Do what you need to do, Mom. You know, if sending me away is the answer to all this, then... Do I look like somebody who has all the answers? You know, I, I am figuring this out as I go along and you are not helping. When your father was here, we made these decisions together. And I would try to think of what he might say, but I can't, okay? I'm on my own and I am doing the best I can. And if you don't like it, well, that's just tough because I am the only mother that you've got. All that matters to me is Star. Oh, I get that. But you are my son, and you are all that matters to me. I love you with all my heart, Cole. And I can't just stand by and let you throw your life away. I need to get to work. When I get home, we will go through the curriculum book, and you will pick out the courses you want to take. And that is what you are going to be focusing on right now.
Which military academy? I don't know, Dad. Some place probably very far away from land view full of juvenile delinquents with guns. <laughs> don't worry, they don't give them live ammo. Oh, thank you, Dad. That makes me feel a whole lot better. Listen, honey, I want to talk No, to you listen to me. My life is ruined, and it's all your fault. Okay. Marty's decision had nothing to do with me as far as ruining your life. You're just a kid, remember? Actually, you're my kid. And there's going to be other boys, believe me. I don't want other boys, Dad. I want Cole. I just don't think Cole's worthy of you, sweetie. He's an idiot. Don't say that about him. I love Cole. And right now, I don't love you. We have to figure something else out. If Antonio's not available to drop her off, I'll just get my mom or my sister too, okay? Yeah. I should have made other arrangements. I'll bring her by after dinner. Great. I'll make sure Antonio or somebody is there. Okay. Goodbye, sweetie. All right, Jessica, stay. Please, stay. Hi. Hi. Wow, you're the last person I expected to see walk into my office. Well, the DA's office wanted you to review this case. What is it? Another perp that wants to get off. I imagine he'll be calling you to testify on his behalf. So in the spirit of full disclosure, I thought I would drop off the DA's file on the case. He's not a patient of mine. Neither was Spencer Truman. You have a reputation in town now. A couple of sessions with you and a murderer can get off with an insanity plea. So did you just drop this all as an excuse to pick a fight? I can see you're upset about it. Wow, Dad, you're so perceptive. And as angry as I was about what happened, I can see that you're in pain. And if there's anything I hate worse than my own pain, it's yours. But you're just going to have to trust that I know what's best for you at this point. Not seeing Cole is what's worse for me. It's torture. I'm sure it is. Then why don't you care? I do care, but this decision is right. How could it be right to forbid me from seeing somebody that I love? Sweetheart, I know that you think you're feeling love for him right now, but... Don't I... tell me how I feel! If I were to ever tell you how you feel, my God! Honey, I'm not trying to make you unhappy. That's the last thing I want to do. Dad, you don't know Cole the way I do. There's a point of even telling you that you've already made up your mind. Do you think I'm a good father? Of course. But, Dad, you're making a big mistake about Cole. Have I ever led you astray? No, but this is different. I know, this is. I know this is different. I know you feel that this is the first real relationship we've ever had. This is bigger than Travis, right? Who you thought you'd die over, by the way. Do you even think about him anymore? Dad, like I said, this is different. I'm not a kid anymore. You know, you're grown up. And all grown ups experience this. And they get over it. You will too. Yeah, well, I'm not like them. I'll never get over it. Well, you're not rushing to get that. You afraid it's cold? You really worried about this? About another guy coming between Adriana and me? No. Not really. It, it's just... I'm suddenly not so sure about Tate, that's all. But you used to like this guy, right? I was a fan. So... Yeah, I thought he was a decent guy until he started wearing Adriana's underwear. Hmm? So to speak. You know, I don't claim to be an expert about this sort of thing. But if you have questions, you say you go right directly to the source. What good would that do? Tate knows I'm jealous. Now, I thought I'm talking about Adriana. Oh. Well, she knows that I am. And it's gotten worse since she saw Tate naked. Accidentally, according to Tate. Hmm. Well, that's good. But you keep an eye on this guy, all right? And if you are concerned about Adriana, you make sure that she's clear on that, okay? 
Thanks. I will. And now I better call Roxy. Tell her you found her stolen money. Thanks for listening. <laughs> this is completely crazy. You had the medal in your hand, and now I'm sitting here looking at some second-rate video image. My house burns down to the ground, and this is it? This is all we have to go on? Nothing? Nora, we're doing the best we can. It's not good enough. Antonio, my son is traumatized. My house burns down to the ground, and the insurance company thinks that I'm the arsonist. And all we've got right now, our only piece of evidence is some blurry photograph here that means a damn nothing. It's nothing. What's going on out here? How many days look at ship? Kate Harmon? That's me. I told you. <laughs> Your last game, when you hit that triple, we were yelling like lunatics, I swear. We're big fans. Well, I'm always happy to oblige pretty female fans. Uh, you live here in Landview, or are you staying at the hotel? No, no. We're here on a conference. If you want to come up for a while, we've got a mini bar. We could have our own little private party, right? Oh, Adriana, hey. Um, I'm sorry, ladies, but... Um, this is my girlfriend, and I'm absolutely crazy about her. That's right, he is. The only party I'm going to is hers. <laughs> um, ladies, could we have some privacy, please? Thanks. I am so, so sorry about that. Yeah. Do you really think they needed the visual aid? I just had to get rid of those women, and in my experience, the only way to do that is to take drastic measures. Well, that wasn't fair. I know, and I'm sorry. Forgive me? I guess so. Just next time you need a favor, ask. Scout's honor. Were you ever even a scout? All-American boy. Look, I was talking to my manufacturer, and he said that we're a go for the New England Winter Line, so... Can I just say one thing, though? Sure. That kiss wasn't the worst thing that's happened to me in the last few hours. What I'm saying is, Adriana, if you didn't have a boyfriend, I would be interested in kissing you a whole lot more. You know that, don't you? Thank you. Mm, what floor do you here? All right. Work it over. Did you count it? Uh-huh. But our way on boat didn't rip you off. Did they get the perps? Because I ID the mugshot? Um, they found them because they tried to clean out the customers at the palace during dinner hour, and one of them took a pot shot. So I really did dodge a bullet. Liberally. What's that all about? None of our business. I'm a hairdresser, honey. Everything is my business. Hey, hey, where'd you go? Hmm? You went somewhere. What are you thinking about? I'm not going to shut up until you tell me. Uh, I had a fight with Adriana about another guy. I, I don't know how this is helping with me staying. I just didn't want you to go away, Matt. I'm not mad. I'm sad. I'm upset. I'm frustrated. A lot of people share custody of their child. Why is it so difficult for us? Because this isn't about Brennan. We never broke up because we were never together. And because uh, I'm just not convinced that you love your husband as much as you say you do. Look at this. This is the big clue to leading us to the arsonist that burned my house down. I'm impressed, aren't you? Vig and Saeed are doing everything they can to get to the bottom of this, I'm so tired of hearing about how hard everyone is working, and we still end up with nothing. Nothing. Not a damn thing. Let's take this into my office now. You can't order me around anymore. I can when you come into my squad room and start making trouble. I am trying to figure out who burned my house down and nearly killed my son. Our son. 
Now, do you think that I would put anyone but the best on this case? Now, those two have been working day and night trying to break it. And the last thing I need to hear is someone to come in and start berating my officers. I wasn't them. Officer Saeed was attacked while she was searching your house. She put her life on the line to try to get you some answers, and now you give her a hard time? Am I making myself clear? Or do I have to restrict your access so that you can't come in here without my okay? I dropped that file off myself because I was coming to the hospital anyway. I don't want to fight with you. Good. Neither do I. However, I, I can't help it. I can't help but make the observation, Marty, that for someone so intelligent and well-educated and experienced, you're a bad judge of character. Hmm. Wow, well, you are fairly educated yourself there, miss, and uh, you're seeing Todd. Fairly educated. Well, let me tell you something, Marty. I'm not seeing Todd. I'm spending a lot of time with him. Which I might feel guilty about if Christian hadn't, uh, you know, his actions make it clear to me that there is no hope for us. And how does that make you feel? How I feel is uncomfortable talking about this with you. Well, it's obvious you need to talk to somebody about it. I have a pretty good support group. Thanks. Are they warning you about Todd? You would have a legitimate reason to warn me about Todd, but I'm not your patient. You can check now or check later. If it's cool, I'm going to find out. Hey, Star, it's me. Uh, call me when you get a chance. I need to talk to you. Dad, it doesn't matter whether it's cool or not. Dad, it's none of your business who calls me. Hand me the phone. Darling, God, when I called before, I was afraid you got caught or something. Well, the only one caught is you, Cole. So I understand you're going off to a military school. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you're going to have access to a cell phone out there, but if you try to contact my daughter, I'll have a restraining order put on your ass, okay? And if that doesn't stop you, I'll have you thrown in jail. And you should know that that's not going to be as cushy as a dorm room. You understand? Are we clear? I hear you. Good. I'm gonna keep this for a while if you don't mind. It's not like you care. Hey. I care about you more than my own life. And I would walk through fire to keep you safe. I know. But Cole is not dangerous. And the way we feel about each other... It's going to change. It did with your mom and me, and we've put in a lot more time than you and Cole. Did you and mom break up because people forced you to? No, you guys broke up because you figured it out on your own. That's right. But we weren't kids when we got together. We weren't living with our parents. Yeah, well, you were lucky. Honey, when I get confirmation that Cole's gone, you can go back to school. But until then, you have to trust that this is the right choice. I do love you, you know. With all my heart. Well, if you were my patient, I could be objective, okay? And it's obvious you're confused about Todd's role in your life. Yes, I am confused about Todd. Is it because of his past? No. It's because of Christian. I was in love with him not too long ago, and I still am, probably. Whatever, I'm not over him. I don't know when I will be, and I don't know what I mean. I don't know what I'm talking about. No, just, you're doing okay. Just take your time. It's not easy. And hey, look, you opened up, and, you know, we didn't snap and snarl at each other. You know, progress. And we'll probably be okay if... If we just don't talk about talk. I don't think that's possible. 
I have every right to be angry about what happened to me. Yes, you do, but you do not have the right to ride people when they're trying to do the very thing that you're screaming at them to do. I was not screaming at them. Oh. I have a very bad feeling about all of this, and I just want some answers. And so do I. I would want the answers anyway, but this, now, this is personal. All right, that came out wrong. Adriana isn't seeing another guy. I'll scratch your eyes out if she is. But another guy is kind of interested in her. So what does kind of mean in your generation? Because in my generation, it means you've been two-timed. Oh, no, 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 no. Adriana isn't two-timing me, okay? No way. It's just... This guy is a former athlete, and now he's working as an underwear model for Adriana's clothing line. So he has his shirt off a lot when they're working together. So you take your shirt off because you got the best pecs on the planet. This isn't a dueling pecs contest, Rox. Okay. Just, this guy Tate, he's, he's like he's like he's like a buzzard. Tate. And, 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 Tate Harmon, is that who you're talking about? The guy I met at Nelly Furtado's concert? The baseball player? Ex-baseball player. Oh, man, he is so hot. He has like on 400 lists for best eligible bachelor. No wonder your jockeys are in a knot. Hey, that's fierce competition, man. Gee, thanks. Rox, talking to you always jacks up my self-esteem. I'm not going to debate this with you anymore. It's not fair to me, and it's not fair to Antonio. Well, you have someone else to love. I just don't have that luxury. Do you think this is easy for me? You know, don't. Don't say another word. Listen, I don't know what I'm talking about. You are so much cuter than that baseball player. The damage is done, Rox. Hey, listen, you're my son. I mean, he's just a guy, and he's a really hot guy. But you're my son. I've never talked. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Forget it. Drop it. No, I'm not going to drop it. I want to make it up to you. And, you know, I got the bucks to do that, so I'm going to take you for a fancy schmancy lunch at the palace. What do you say? Why are you saying things like this to me? Didn't I start this conversation by saying that we need to set some ground rules about this exact same thing? Yes, you did. But how was I supposed to know that those bimbos are going to come up to me and... Uh, you don't know how to get rid of people without grabbing the nearest woman? I got caught up in the moment, and you were there, and I... Look, I don't want this to mess up our work, okay? So... Neither do I, but... But I've been behaving badly, and it'll stop. I promise. You have a boyfriend, and you love him, so I will back off completely. So if Rex weren't in the picture, you would make a play for me. But since he is, you won't. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Officer Saeed, I'm sorry I snapped at you. It's been a very stressful, difficult time. That's no excuse, but... It's okay. I understand. Thank you. And you can reach me day or night if you have anything to tell me. Why is it impossible to avoid the subject of Todd? Because. Because every road invariably leads right back to him. You know, uh, I had to make this gut-wrenching decision today about my son. Just as I wish I didn't have to make it. And the reason I had to make it was, uh, because of Todd. You know, I was at the ski lodge the other day when you had to confront Todd and Blair about whatever your kids were doing, and uh, I thought you handled that very well. I, I can't imagine that it's easy for you dealing with the Mannings. Thank you. Uh -huh. No, it isn't. See, look, you just opened up to me a little bit there, and we didn't, um... What'd you say? Uh, snap and snarl. Snarl. At each other. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Go yeah. figure. Who knew? Well, Marty, I guess I should go. And for what it's worth, I... I'm truly sorry about you and Christian. Me too. How could you not know that I'm interested in you? Or rather that I would be if you were free. Well, I just wonder if you would say that to any girl who had a boyfriend. Well, not every girl is as beautiful and smart and funny as you are. You really have no idea how unbelievably gorgeous you are, do you? 
Hey, Floyd. How are you feeling, huh? Okay, I guess. Yeah? Look a little green around the gills. Yeah, I threw up, so my mom wouldn't let me go to school. Yeah, she told me. Enough room on that couch for the old man, too? Well, I don't want to get sick. No germ would come near me. Come on, scoot over. <sighs> Has Nigel been taking good care of you? He tried to change my sheets when I was still in bed. Like I'm in a hospital or something. That's terrible. I mean, I know he's just trying to be nice, but when I'm homesick, he, Mom just leaves me alone. Yeah. Does she ever give you the uh, chicken soup treatment? Yeah. You know, I'll bet you, uh, Nigel probably make some soup for you. No. Okay. No soup for you. He probably spend all day in the kitchen making me homemade soup. Oh, yeah. And you like the kind that you can nuke in the microwave, right? Don't even have one. What, a microwave? All right. Actually, they do. The cook keeps it stashed way in the back of the pantry. Now, don't tell her that I'm the one that told you that, okay? I'm sworn to secrecy. Oh, what's the point of having one if I can't use it? That's the problem with this whole place. I know that uh, things are kind of rough for you right now, but you know what? If you'd be more comfortable, you're welcome to come and stay at my place. I'd love to have you. Thanks, but Mom would be lonely. Besides, she's been a little crazy. A little stressed. Ah. Uh, and you're worried about her? I guess. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, so am I. But I'm going to keep an eye on her. All right? I'm not going to let anything bad happen. Thanks, Dad, but I know you can't promise that. Well, I wish I could. Yeah, me too. Hey, now, tell me, what has Pa been doing lately <laughs> that is so wacky? I swear, I've never seen him like this before he went in the hospital. He's been making bad jokes all the time, and he's been grabbing Renee and kissing her a lot more. And he's been saying that he feels like a million bucks. Only one million? I know! <laughs> and he's been saying that he went in the hospital for an oil change, and now he's as good as new. So you've been spending a lot of time with uh, Renee and him. Mm -hmm. Mom and Uncle Clint, too. Do you miss your friends? I see them at school. Yeah, but yet, it's not the same. It's not like going to the movies or hanging out, eating pizza. You get to the park much? It's still too cold out. No, it isn't. Come on, I never stopped you before. I know, but I'm just sick and tired of everyone fussing over me. I just want to be left alone. Sorry. No, that's okay. I get it. You do? Yeah. What? Still think it's a good idea if you have your buddies over here. Invite them over. You know what I think they should do? Big sleepover right over here. You guys could all camp out in the tack room there in the stables, order out for pizza, have them delivered in. No servants, no staff, no grandparents. I would be happy to stand guard for you. Mom says it's okay. What do moms know about camp? Yeah, especially my mom. Yeah, and besides, she's busy right now trying to find a house for you two to live in. So I want you to let the old man handle your social calendar for a while. Deal? Deal. You just don't give up, do you? I am not putting the moves on you. I'm just giving you a compliment. Am I interrupting something? Damn. You're all set. All set for what? I made an appointment for you with a police psychiatrist. You what? I want you to be hypnotized. Oh, she's awake. Yeah, woke up smiling. And she does that a lot. So did Jess. I should get going. Yeah, well, uh, call me. No, call Antonio when you're ready to bring her back, okay? I will. It's 
sorry. I want you to write down, without thinking, the name of the man you want to be with. Not the man you think you should be with, but the man that you see yourself spending the rest of your life with. I made a decision. What? You're going to tell your mom that you don't want to go to military school? <laughs> that wouldn't do any good. So, I've decided I'm going to run away. With you. Stay tuned for scenes from the next One Life to Live. On the next One Life to Live. Would you come too, Mommy? Mom. Not to me. Is Christian taking you back? Did you think I'm hitting on you? Oh, you're not. How's my fiancé to be doing today? We're really going to do this. What other choice do we have?